Hey, what's up everybody? Hey, welcome, this is uh, my Borderlands 2 playthrough. Um, and, uh, you know, I've been uh, looking forward to uh, playing this again. So actually, I've been wanting to stream it and record it. I have the uh, 360 version. And for a while, I could stream and record, but then uh, I, I guess maybe some licenses expired or whatever. But uh, it was at least last year, 2018. Some uh, I, I wanted to stream it and record it, and uh, I couldn't. And I discovered that uh, there were issues with the licensing, and uh, <laughs> so I could not uh, record on uh, my Xbox One with the game DVR. I couldn't stream uh, from my Xbox One. I'm sure if I had like a capture card and it, you know a decent computer uh, capture card, and uh, maybe. Um, some some better software i i could i maybe record uh the, the 360 version but then again maybe not i don't know with the, the licensing issues i don't know if that applies to everyone or if that's just uh a, an agreement that microsoft reached with gearbox and 2k whatever i i don't know but uh fortunately this is the handsome jack uh compilation borderlands 2 uh is taken from that uh, and i'm playing it via game pass xbox game pass and uh so apparently the licenses are up to date i don't know i'm able to record and i'm able to stream however one of the things i know about 2k and a lot of their 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 games uh, there are some serious copyright issues that crop up and mostly it has to do with the music occasionally it has to do with sound effects that type of thing so uh, that's why there's no music and that's why like during the um, for, for the title screen for the opening of this video uh, there was uh, the sound and the music was muted uh, for the Gearbox and 2K and Borderlands uh, title screens uh, because you know I, I muted that completely to get around all that uh, that all that business with the possible copyright slams you know anyway let me explain what's going on with this this uh, series uh, the first seven videos are going to be without commentary. Uh, but I'm also streaming uh, this, the, the playthrough on Twitch. Uh, I pick up where I left off on Twitch. Uh, I, I, I pick up where I left off recording. Uh, was, I record uh, directly to my... Uh, record and save to my uh, external hard drive with the game DVR directly from my Xbox One. I can record in 1080p. Looks really good. You'll see. Uh, I upload it to uh, YouTube uh, because I, I save to my laptop hard drive and then then I upload from from there to uh, YouTube. Uh, with Twitch, there's commentary because you know <laughs> I'm I'm using their basically their uh, resources, you know, to record and all that. Uh, as I stream, so uh, there's there's commentary and all that, including rage, etc., etc. Uh, now the thing is, uh, the first episode it starts really slow because I'm like trying to get back in the swing of things, and, and I'm, I'm messing with a couple of new controller configurations, but I end up settling with default anyway. Uh, and another thing uh, with the characters, uh, one of the things I did, as you'll see, we're coming up to the character uh, introductions right about now. Uh, 
you know, like Axton I, is who I chose, okay? Um, the, these are the default characters, you know? There's Axton the Commando. Uh, there's Maya the Siren, a.k.a. Firewalker. There's uh, Salvador the Gunzerker. And there's Zero the Assassin. And that's, your, that, that's who you start out with, typically. But included with this this uh, version is all the DLC, you know, including the extra characters, uh, which we'll come to. You know, you, you can see there's Salvador the Gunzerker, as I was talking about. And, uh, uh, it, it, one of the characters, I didn't pay attention to them at all when I started my, <laughs> my playthrough. I didn't, I just sort of glanced at him. It didn't even dawn on me or register, you know, that these were additional characters. And I, I had already made up my mind I was going to choose Axton the Commando. I played him before, played as him before. And I like using his saber turret and all that stuff. So that's what I decided on. And then I started checking out the characters after the fact. And this one. Gage, the Mechromancer, stuck out to me. I'm like, why didn't I choose her? Which I can. I, you know, you. What's cool about this game is you could have multiple playthroughs going. Uh, s select multiple characters for different playthroughs, and, and that's the way to do it. But see, here's the thing. I also know there's New Game Plus, and I can stash away some uh, mods and, and uh, weapons and stuff for other characters so that's what I'm busy doing with Axton uh, besides buffing him up you know uh, so I definitely want to play as the Gunzerker the Psycho I'm not too you know enthused about you know playing I can care less about the Psycho but uh, the, yeah, that's it. I mean, it, it is, this is one of the coolest games, man. I, I love playing this game. And uh, I wanted to do this intro. I'm doing this intro as I've already got leveled up to... I forget what I'm up to. Uh, I should have paid attention to that. I think I'm up to level 15. You're not going to see it because I started a new game just to show you the character screen. So, you want to hear another story, huh? One where the very fake of Pandora actually the battle. If not, too bad, I'm telling you anyway. First, there was the bomb. An alien prison opened with a mystical key. To the warriors who opened it, the vault was just a container of tentacles and disappointment. They vanished into the wastelands, certain that the vault held no treasure at all. They were wrong. The vault's opening triggered the growth of Iridium, a priceless alien element. Soon, the rare and valuable mineral emerged all across Pandora. Its appearance attracted many, including the Hyperion Corporation. They came to Pandora to mine Iridium and bring order to the savage planet. Through their excavations, Hyperion uncovered evidence of an even greater vault. Their leader vowed to find it, to use its power to civilize the Borderlands once and for all. But Hyperion weren't the only ones searching for the next vault's alien power. The call of danger and loot is not so easily resisted. Certain warriors came to Pandora in droves to uncover its hidden secrets. Some would call them adventurers. Others call them fools. But I call them vault hunters. Our story begins with them and with a man named Handsome Jack. 